What's up gamers? So you see this uh, screenshot right here. All right, you know, I'm up somewhere in the fucking corner. Take a look. This is a, basically a list of the videos that I've uploaded to this channel. Take a look at the very bottom one. It's basically like the first uh, video that I uploaded or I should say, yeah, not necessarily to this channel because this channel is actually the original Gamer Rant channel. It's just the original videos I deleted myself. But if you take note of that video, all right, basically the first new video that I uploaded to this channel is, you know, feminists mocked for their, their basically their bullshit, all right? You see the title down there. Now, I actually originally came aware of this actually last year, and I actually went through the whole process on YouTube of, you know, creating a counterclaim uh, for that video, and yet, you know, I actually noticed it uh, just now when I was looking at my list of videos that it's actually officially been deleted before it was like It's been deleted, but you can undelete it But now there's not even the option to do that and what's even more ironic <clears throat> From uh, that down there ladies and gentlemen is it there wasn't anything inappropriate about the video within of itself basically what the video iterated from. If you watched it, then you you remember and are familiar with what it was. Basically, I showed tweets from people that were uh, basically talking about their ideology of the whole E3 and dishonored to like Anita Sarkeesian, who ultimately, you know, was dissatisfied that there was the option of a male and a female, but at least they're advertising the female portion rather than the male portion of said ver uh, game. And yet, and then I also went over and showed some of these so-called mocking tweets uh, that these two people, because it was another person along with Anita Sarkeesian, that were getting fed basically, uh, basically just stuff shoved back in their face in not even a disrespectful way. It is kind of ironic that the video in question below was flagged as inappropriate, and we know what it was. No doubt, a bunch of feminists, because I did actually tweet um, the video to both of the... Um, to both Anita Sarkeesian and whoever the other person were. I actually put them in the tag of the tweet so that the video could go there. Because I don't, I don't hide when I do a video response or I talk about somebody. I share it, be it on Twitter or their actual YouTube video. But of course, I guess that was a bad idea when it comes to feminists because they can't handle the honest truth. Because there was nothing inappropriate about the video. It was me showing tweets from both sides of the quote-unquote argument and giving you my thoughts and opinion on both sides of the quote-unquote argument. So, what I am going to do is I am actually going to re-record that video and YouTube can go fuck yourself you, 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 you literally can go fuck yourself, YouTube, because that, that's complete bullshit that the, the video was even completely removed. Number one, they didn't respond to any of my emails after I had filed my little fucking little complaint, you know, counterclaim. Not even a fucking anything. In fact, the, the, the only email that I received from them was exactly 30 minutes after I filed the fucking claim online to let me know that um, they, they it still violates their terms of service. Bull fucking shit because your automated system is fucking stupid and you need real fucking people to look at this shit. So you know what, YouTube? Fuck you. You know what, Anita Sarkeesian? You know what, whatever that fucking other dumbass guy, because it was a guy uh, who was doing this Fuck you, I'm redoing the video, so sit on that and rotate. And remember, gamers, if you're not voicing your thoughts and concerns about the bullshit that is YouTube and their lack of doing anything except silencing people when it... <sighs> 
You just might be a part of the motherfucking problem.